Hi and welcome to new tutorial in Fusion 360. In this episode of V12 Engine model Modeling, I will make an assembly of the turbo compressor. And maybe I will cover the whole assembly of the engine with this turbo. If you are new, I will recommend you to start the series from the beginning. You will learn many things. Let's start with the assembly of the turbo compressor. Here I separate all the components of this turbo to see the whole of the components. Now I will start assembly component by component and let's see what's the result here as you can see you have just to rotate this one 90 degrees And let's start uh, the new new constraint or new join between these two components. For me, I will select this one like um, first face. That's the second face. Make it. Make sure that you are applicating the, um, the rigid body, okay? As you can see here, we have nearer and the um, turbine housing. Just move it um, 90 degrees, it will be okay. To fix that, you have just to, um, to modify this part. For me, I will activate it and hide all the other components to start modifying it. Look for this sketch, okay see from the front to move the circle just delete the um, the constraint here coincident constraint and as you can see you can move it like this one i will move it on the um, the right direction here as i say to you is 90 degrees Okay, once you finish, you can show the other part. As you can see, the problem is fixed. You can show the other components and make sure that you activate the sub assembly of the turbo compressor. That's the first component we did. That's the first join we did. Okay. Let's move around and join these components, the turbine and the compressor. Can join this surface to this one. Find the, the center of it. Press OK. The other join here is to find the center of this one. Okay. Let's start a new join here. 
Here I will select um, between faces here to find the plan between these two faces. Okay. You can choose the center if you want. The join here, make sure that you used, well, you use here, uh, not the between faces and the join it's not a rigid body but a slider okay make sure that you use using a slider and let's see some dimension here okay use the offset of one here You can save your file. Once you're saving your file, you can show the turbine housing here. Turbo being housing, sorry. And the last one is to join the turbine and the compressor with the turbo peering housing I'm using shift to find these selections it's too handy to use it you can find all the shortcut of Eugene on the website okay all thing is all right here Now we finished the the assembly of the turbo. Let's jump to the assembly of the turbo with the engine. Here I show on the the assembly of the engine and just uh, Show all the component and activate the whole assembly and let's start joining the first one to this hole. Make sure you are selected the best. The best one, but you can jump to here and select the the rigid body as you can see here we have the first assembly and I recommend you to create another you can just uh, copy and paste it paste it in the whole assembly okay it's not not pasting it on the on the sub assembly of the turbo compressor okay please if you like the video just make a thumbs up and if you don't like it just make a thumbs up and uh, um, subscribe to my channel to support it and check on the clash to to have a new tutorial i will continue working on this engine uh, and other series on the inventor series and the sidework series you will find it in my channel and maybe i will make a tutorial about another car in in fusion maybe and i will teach you the surfacing mode and i start um, i don't see if you if you can't if you can uh, see the the 
the tutorial about the BMW Z4. You can find it in my channel to see the surfacing mode. It's the best tutorial and so easy to use patch mode. Uh, I hate using the, the modeling mode because we can't uh, we can't modify if we did an error, but with the patch mode, it's too easy to return if you want to modify something. Here we did the third turbo, just copy and paste. Or you can move using just move it and check on copy. It's the same thing. But for me, I prefer to copy and paste and just paste, not paste, just paste it and move it, as you can see there. Okay. Once you finish, just join. As you can see here, just find the best hole here with this one. Maybe we will change some holes here and the distances it's not uh, important uh, actually okay now you finish the the basic of the v12 engine uh, in the bottom as you can see here we will add many parts uh, see you in the other tutorial and thanks for all subscriber and see you. Thanks.